Let's see. Because Hank, I think you had a question like from the last office hours. Do you, I don't know if you want to ask now. Yeah, there you go. Well, that is correct, but um, that was also how I must uh, pick up my fingers just in time. Um, and I saw in your uh, video that uh, when you pressed not too hard, it will be much easier. Yeah. And what do you have a question ab about that, about how to do that? No, I did find uh, the, the answer already. Okay. Um, well, let, let's just talk about it since we have everybody here about how about finger pressure is I think what we're talking yeah. about. And this is something I mean, I'm still learning so much about playing. And what the thing one big thing I've learned in the last few years is that I can use even less pressure than I, I was. And, you know, and you could actively practice this in a couple of ways. One is to not even bow or make music just to touch the strings. Practice just lightly touching the notes. You may want to find them first. Good. And then and then just see how little do this, Hank. Now play play your D1. So here's an exercise. Keep playing it and then slowly lift the pressure on the left hand until the note doesn't sound. There you go. And so you find this point where, where the note, you don't actually hear the note anymore. And then you add a little bit of pressure back until you actually you see what's going on like if I if I take too little pressure have too little pressure on my first finger it just makes these weird harmonic sounds but if I add just a little bit more or and I saw in your video that uh, you can also see if you have too much pressure, then the color of your uh, fingernail is uh, different. Right. Yeah. That's the the um. That's called the death grip. It's not an official music term, but when you really are are tight, you won't. Be, I won't be able to show it on 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 camera, but you can actually see that your. You, your fingers turning white because the blood flow is blocked. Yeah. So, um, but any, anyhow, this is a really nice thing to practice. It, it makes for more relaxed and enjoyable practice, but it also means you can play faster, which was a, a question Tara had, you know, about how to play faster. And it's something I forgot to mention there is that like have it playing with very little pressure can help with that. So I actually want to take a note about that, but um, so um, do you, Hank? Do you have any follow up on that? Uh, no, that was the only one. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for playing and for asking your question. I've we traded emails for a while, so I get to talk to you a little bit. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, thank you, Don Quivel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.